Hi and welcome to another video. I was busy today printing out this bracket from E3D to mount the Titan extruder to the um, the Prusa i3 carriage and I noticed kind of like when it printed out the top of the circle hadn't come out correctly and you know there was a bit of smoosh on it and all sorts of weird stuff so I started hacking at it with a knife and then I thought this would be a good good point to where uh, Make a video for the uh, the Kickstarter that I backed in January for the Modify 3D Print Tool. The 3D Print Finishing Tool, it says there. Um, there's a whole lot of blurb on the back. I'll hold it there. If you want to pause the video, you can read it. And um, basically what it is, it's a, it's a hot pen powered by a USB. So in the box, you get a USB lead with a USB, obviously, and a 3.5mm jack. You get a, a, a tool that looks like a pen with a, a metal dot on. We'll talk about that in a sec. So take the cap off, put the three and a half mil jack in, plug that into a USB, put one conveniently there. Uh, you get a little stand because obviously the end gets hot, so you can uh, put it down and wait for it to heat up. And um, you get a, a, a pointy tip. I'll put it there. It's quite pointy. You get a, a knife tip which is a bit of an offset kind of weird thing you get a pointier tip um, a lot of people have said this is for enlarging holes if you print holes and they don't come out properly and you get this tip which is like a spoony kind of round over thing now what happens is you uh, plug the power in you touch this little metal dot here and the light comes on and then allegedly within 15 good god that's hot within 15 seconds it heats up and if you don't keep touching that, it goes off and it, it'll get cold within 30 seconds, so they say. But uh, what, I've, what I've done is I'm, I'm just going to keep tapping it. There you go, you said I'd go off and come back on again. And I'll just test it on a bit of ABS I've got here to see if it's hot enough. Yeah, it's definitely hot enough. So what you can see is, I'm going to try and do this without like burning myself here because this gets mad hot. Um, what I can do is if I... Rub it on the inside there. With a bit of luck, you'll be able to see it's all melting, and it should be smoothing the hole out. Yeah, well, uh, we'll do it. We'll do a bit there. That's it. Oh, it's a bit stringy, and now you should be able to see it's a bit bumpy. So we can take the tool and we can rub it, rub it around the top there, and and that should. Uh, well, there's a bit on the inside too. Oh, you got, it's going to be impossible for you to see that. Um, yeah, so you just literally keep your finger on the dot, rub it around inside. You, I'm concentrating now. You can tell. Um, use the tips that you want, and you can finish off your 3D prints. If you have like stringing on your 3D prints and stuff, if you've printed two or three things on the bed at once, and you've got pips all the way down one side, you can quite quickly. I don't know if you can see there there's, there might be some pips on this because I printed it with something else and you can quite quickly just rub them off so it is quite a nice little tool I mean for 10 quid as, a, as part of the Kickstarter it's fantastic um, I'm pretty sure that they're in production of this now and it's it retails for about 20 quid so that was a bit of a bargain it was 50% off but um, yeah that's it the Modify 3D I've just held that in front of my face that was brilliant uh, the Modify 3D, 3D, can you see that? I've moved the camera around just in case you're wondering why I'm all over the place. I mean, look, there you go. You can see everything now and the camera's up there and things. So it's a bit weird for me. I'll get used to it though. But yeah, that was it. That was the Modify 3D print tool. <sighs> um, I'll put a link in the description to their website because I think it's mentioned on there somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's, that's about it for today. Brackets coming along and that's it. So... As usual, please like, comment and subscribe. I've been Steve. Thanks for listening.